Happy New Year, guys. Hope you had a great New Year's Eve. This is Run For Adventure. We are at Starbucks. We're on the A30 down in Cornwall. It's New Year's Day at quarter past nine. This can only mean one thing. Yep, we are at the Jamaica Inn up in Bodmin. We've come up to Bodmin for the Brown Willy Run. It is definitely the best way to start the new year. We were here last year. If you haven't checked out the video, please go and do so. We haven't quite got the beautiful blue skies we had last year, but it's dry at the moment, so looking good. Conditions should be interesting. It's been pretty wet. It should be pretty muddy out there. We're gonna do it slightly differently this year. Obviously, we're gonna run the race. We're gonna capture the race uh, and capture this awesome route that we have to run on New Year's Day. But also, we're gonna give you an update on race calendar for 2020. So we're gonna go through the race ballots that we've entered, the races that we're entered into and looking forward to for 2020. Right, we better go and get registered. So we're gonna get inside, pay our money, sign the paper, and we're off and running. Fifteen minutes to go for the start. Let's get changed. That's better. Let's go racing. Mud, oh, you'll get mud, mate. Don't you worry. So this is definitely more like brown willy conditions <laughs> compared to last year's glorious blue sky and dry trails. brown willy again and to be honest i'm a little bit disappointed because um these guys are not in fancy dress uh, if you saw last year's video this was the american footballer and this was the teenage ninja mutant turtle a bit disappointing you know it's the only reason i came to be honest <laughs> have a good run guys happy new year. yeah happy new year first race for 2020 is going to be Manchester Marathon. Plans were to do it last year, but illness and injuries got in the way. 5th of April, Manchester Marathon, and we're going to try and qualify for an England Masters Marathon vest. All the training in the new year is going to be focused to that to start with. Lots of speed sessions, interval sessions. I'm joining a running club again, so I'm going to affiliate to a local running club to get some real quality miles in. But yeah, first race 2020, Manchester Marathon. This is Racy Tracy, and she has been doing the Brown Willy Run since it started. Never missed a run. Even with hangovers, snow, ice, 
Yeah. She's been here every year. <laughs> that is pretty impressive. <laughs> well done, Trace. <laughs> so we are heading off up the big climb, top of Brown Willy, highest point in Cornwall, and then it's pretty much downhill all the way to the finish. Well, kind of. Marshall. No problem. Good effort. Happy New Year, mate. Well the next race in the calendar is going to be Grand Union Canal. It's a race uh, I went and tried to complete a few years ago. Had a disastrous effort. Went horribly wrong. Pulled out about halfway. So we got in the ballot this year. Come May, we're going to be heading off to Birmingham. If you don't know of the race, it's 145 miles from Birmingham on the Grand Canal all the way into the centre of London. So fingers crossed for that one. It's a long way, but I'm going to train hard and we're going to get it finished this year. Obviously it's Lucas Aid in there, yeah? <laughs> That's how to do it. Why didn't I bring a hip flask? Oh, next year, next year. No, I'm fine, thank you. I bet I'll drink now, I'll probably fall over on the way there. <laughs> that is the top bagged. We are heading down now. Super tricky to set off the top, especially in these wet and misly conditions. So, got to go really careful. Next on the list of races for 2020 is going to be, we're going back to the Serpent Trail 50k. Lydia is going to be running her first 100k, but I'm going to race the 50k again. Had such a great time there last year. Awesome route, stunning route, so well organised. Real great atmosphere to finish, so we're going to go back to the 50k. I think it's a pretty quick route and last year wasn't fully fit, um, had a pretty good race. so. We're going to really push coming off the back of Grand Union, hopefully fully recovered by then. We're going to really push and we're going to try and bring that time down to as close as four hours as possible. We'll see how it goes. You've got to be in it to win it. We're out here. We think we've got it tough. Look at this old boy, eh? That's, <laughs> that's, the, old. that's, the, way, <laughs> that's the way to do it. Impressive, mate. Impressive. We are running today in the new Ciccone Peregrine 10. This run is a great test for a shoe, especially for the grip. And all I can say, the grip of this new Peregrine is spot on. Really, really good. I feel really confident, really short footed. There's going to be a full comprehensive review of the new Peregrine as soon as we've got them 50 miles in the shoe. So keep your eyes peeled for that. next race is rapidly moving towards August and we have put in the ballot for the TDS at UTMB. Um, everything I've heard about the route is it's supposed to be amazing. They've increased the distance and there's more elevation but the route is supposed to be stunning. So we're in the ballot. I haven't got any coefficients here. It's the first time I put in for it so fingers crossed on that one but hopefully August we're going to go back to Chamonix. <laughs> <laughs> Are you looking forward to your roast dinner, mate? I am looking forward to my roast potatoes. There's going to be a real problem if there's no, there's no meat left. Oh, <laughs> oh, hell will break this. Yeah, it will. Yeah, yeah. Baileys, cream, marshmallows. See? Yeah. This, is yeah. what, this is what runners do. We run so we can eat. Yeah. 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 <laughs> well done, guys. Them roast potatoes are calling. Thank you. Keep on trucking. Last on the race uh, list calendar for 2020, we are heading off to Latvia in September. We are going to be running the Segulda Mountain Marathon. 
I'm sure you're all out there saying, well, there's no mountains in Latvia, and you're probably right, but the race is about 70 to 80 kilometers, and there is over 2,000 meters of elevation. It's in the hilliest part of Latvia, and they literally route you up and down the hills the whole route. So it's gonna be a challenging run, but we are heading off to Latvia in September. Brown Willy, done. We better go and sign in. Right, all signed back in. Let's, uh, let's get James cleaned up. Let's get something to eat. Out of 10, how much are you looking forward to your racing? Oh, 11. <laughs> let's go and eat. Oh, that is better after a big, maybe too big roast dinner, but we've had an awesome time at Brown Willie again. We love coming here on New Year's Day. It's great to catch up with people. And like I said before, it's a great way to start any new year. That's also a brief outline of uh, some of the main races we've got planned for 2020. Obviously there'll be little races in between, but that's the bulk of the races that we're gonna be really training hard for in 2020. It would also be great to hear your plans for 2020. So in the comments below guys, give us an idea of what races you're targeting. Any new races, new distances, new challenges you're taking on, get them in the comments below. Really hope you enjoyed the video guys. We always love coming uh, up to Bodmin on New Year's Day and filming. We had great fun last year, great fun this year. Even though the conditions weren't as good as last year, they were still pretty good underfoot and we were still pretty lucky with the weather. If you did like it, please hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and that bell notification, click that bell because then you'll be informed when we upload any new content to the channel. So super important, give that bell a click. We've got lots of great plans for 2020 filming wise. We're already working on a couple of films for this year. We really wanna build the channel, improve the channel, get different content, keep it exciting for you guys at home. So we're working really hard to do so in 2020. Wherever you are, I hope you've had a great New Year's Day and I hope you had a great New Year's Eve. And as always, at Run for Adventure, stay safe and keep on running. <laughs>